Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back and hello if you are new. My name is Sarah and welcome to the start, the unofficial official start to my holiday gift guide series. I'm so glad that you are here. I know that my holiday gift guides are some of your guys' very favorite videos that I film throughout the whole year, and they're actually my very favorite ones too. I absolutely love filming them. I love watching others. It's so much fun for me, and it just gets me so excited and in the holiday spirit. And I hope that, that that's what these do for you as well. Um, if you've never seen me before, like I said, my name is Sarah, and I have a ton of gift guide videos on my channel. I've been doing these for years now, so I have ranged all over the spectrum for ages as well as people as well as holidays we have Halloween even we have Valentine's Day Easter Christmas birthdays all of that so if you want some good ideas or want to look for different age groups or whatever definitely check out my um, I'm gonna try to link the playlist right here of all of my gift guide ideas because there's a lot of them and some of them have been just really really good and are ones that I definitely recommend so go check those out if you would like to and if you haven't already followed me on Instagram or TikTok, you should absolutely do that I will have everything linked down below I am very active especially on Instagram so if you want to reach out to me and get in contact with me contact with me um, quickly definitely reach out over there um, and yeah if you haven't already seen I have decorated for Christmas that video is actually coming up next I really like how the decorations turned out this year they're so festive and warm and cozy and they give me very nostalgic like home alone Christmas vibes I can't wait for you guys to see it um, so definitely keep an eye out if you're looking for some festive decorating with me in the holiday spirit um, definitely keep an eye out and if you haven't seen my Halloween decorate with me I didn't actually post it on YouTube I ended up posting it on to talk um, and reels on Instagram trying to keep up with all the different platforms and social media sites and the algorithm from all different things can be super exhausting as a creator and I'm definitely not very good at it but I'm trying so if you guys are wondering where that was definitely check out those social media sites because that's where it is I know we're past Halloween but I know some of us still really really love it and it's fun to see how things turned out okay I think that's it so let's talk about the gift guide so like I said if you've never seen me before um, I have an oh, I have two daughters my oldest is Olive and she is about to be eight tomorrow which is crazy for me I cannot believe that she is eight already I blinked and the past three years have just literally flown faster than any of the years I've ever had and experienced um, and I can't believe she is eight so it is kind of tricky to gift things to an eight-year-old because she is not quite a tween or a teen yet, but she's not really a little kid anymore. She has very special interests, but she's a little too young for the tween and teen-like gifts, but she's a little bit older than the little kid gifts. So she's in this like really kind of sticky, tough spot. Um, but I think I did really good this year. I'm really excited and I think she's really gonna love them. Um, if you've seen my gift guides before, you'll know that for my birthday gift guides, I typically try to stick to like a central kind of theme. Um, and that I mean like I try to encourage like a hobby or a special interest for my gift guides or for my birthdays um, for my kids. Typically for Christmas, it's like well-rounded stuff from all over, whatever they're interested in, whatever they want, toys, all that type of stuff. Um, but for birthdays, I try to really kind of encourage and foster their special interests and their hobbies because I think that's really important. Um, and so last year, if you watched Olive's gift guide when she turned seven, she was super into gymnastics. So she got a bunch of Leo, she got a balance beam, she got um, gymnastics mats, she got all of that type of stuff, and a couple of toys here and there too. Um, and this year, um, we have reached a whole new kind of theme in her life. So I find that when kids get a little bit older, it's kind of exciting because they really start narrowing down their like true, true interests and things that really they enjoy and um, aren't the same for all kids. I feel like when you have little kids, there's there are things that are just marketed towards them that like it's just like an umbrella for all kids, like Elsa and Frozen or Bluey or Coco Melon or whatever. And it's just like every kid's just crazy about Coco Melon. But when your kids get older, they really start developing like certain interests where it's like sports or music or you know 
art or you know what what have you there's all sorts of stuff and so Olive now is really starting to kind of narrow down and really like assimilate her little categories of interests and she has been really really into um all things kawaii anime and Sanrio and all the Sanrio characters um, and it kind of goes hand in hand they mix and match with each other um, she's also if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time you guys know she really really enjoys art and drawing and creating she's incredibly talented um, and a wonderful artist and so um, a lot of these gifts kind of play into that but with like an anime kind of twist on things or Sanrio twists or kawaii what have you all of that type of stuff so Without further ado, let's just get started. I've been yapping for a while and we just need to get started. All right, so first things first is we have this really cozy and soft um, little back pillow, um, <laughs> reading pillow, I guess. Uh, it is really, really soft. It's really pretty blush pink color. Um, this is actually from Walmart. This has been on sale for like weeks now. Ollie has been wanting a little uh, back pillow and she's been wanting like a baby pink one. So when I saw this, I thought it was perfect. Um, and I got it for $12. And this is such a good deal for this little guy. I think it is so soft and nice and stuffed and filled for that price like go walmart um and it also has a little handle i mean i don't know how useful that is for her but it's you know it's there um and i just think that it's really soft and comfortable i'm actually asking for a reading pillow for christmas if you would like to see um i have a couple of other gift guide ideas to add this year so i want to know if you guys are interested if you want to see what maybe my christmas wish list looks like for some ideas for you guys i know that sometimes as moms it's like what do we ask for and i know a lot of times you guys love seeing what I got for Christmas videos which I normally love to film as well but before that to give you guys some ideas maybe to put on your wish list list wish list let me know if that's something you'd be interested in and um, if you just want like a general fun gift guide for some of my like all-time favorite gifts or I don't know let me know what you're interested in let me know if those sound good to you anyway I'm asking for a reading pillow for Christmas that's a little bit more like deluxe um, but this is perfect for her. Um, my youngest has one and they call it their couch. And so, um, Ollie really wanted one too, to go in her bed, which is perfect for when she reads at night in her bed and just relaxes and is on her iPad. I just think that it's a really good gift. It looks big and, but it was not very expensive. Um, and it's perfect for her age group. I feel like kids really like to decorate and have fun, um, with their rooms at that age. And so I think it's a perfect like good older kid tween gift um next thing we got this this is actually from my mom this is another decorating uh decor gift idea this is from this is the sweet cat silicone nightlight from amazon um my oldest loves loves cats she is obsessed with them she wants a cat so bad um she pretends to be a cat she freaking meows i mean like she is cat obsessed so my mom decided to get her this really really cute little silicone night light um all i kind of wanted her own night light of her own my uh, youngest has one a neon one that hangs on her wall but we thought this was perfect because ollie's in a top bunk to be able to have something that she can keep and kind of light um but that's silicone and it's not going to break or get hurt um it has different timers and it gets pretty bright i mean that's like a pretty bright little sucker um and it also has a remote so you can do color change um with it so it's super cute there's a bunch of different style night lights like these on amazon but this one's just like so sweet and happy and sleepy um and it will be perfect for ollie um i do plan on getting her sh a shelf um, for her bed because she is in a bunk bed it's kind of hard for her to be able to put like her drinks with them not spilling or like the night light or just have a little shelf to put her stuff that she doesn't want in her bed getting hurt um, but I just haven't found the right one so if you have any good recommendations for just like good like single kid shelves that are cute and fun but have like a good amount of like width to them i find that they're like just really short and shallow and things will just fall right off so let me know i just haven't found the perfect one yet otherwise she would have had that in her gifts 
here but for now this is okay because it's not going to break and so she can have it in her bed with her but it's a really cute and like i said this was from amazon the next two things are pretty much the only like toys that she's actually getting or at least ones that aren't kind of in the theme um and so the first one is this rainbow high doll if you guys have watched my past two christmas gift guides you will know that my girls love love rainbow high they still love rainbow high they still have them on their wish list this year i really like rainbow high dolls i think they're really great quality they're beautiful and if you can find a good sale like you can get them for great prices um so this one is actually from series four her name is mina fleur um and if none of you guys know if you haven't watched my channel before um my husband is actually from punjab um so my girls are half indian and i've talked multiple times about how I wish that there was more um, South Asian and Indian representation in for dolls and toys. There is like next to nothing. Um, and I know some of you guys have been so sweet to recommend some uh, Barbies. So they have Indian Barbies, but they are really hard to get. They're really expensive. And I want to say they come straight from India. And so, um, or at least they're not in the States. So they're really hard to get your hands on. Um, and like I said, they're really expensive. And there's like maybe like just a couple of different styles. Um, and so I've been really hoping that there would be more uh, representation for little girls and boys um, who want to see themselves in their toys. And so uh, when they came out with this doll and this character on Rainbow High, I was so excited. Um, she is actually an accessory design focus, but in the show, um, she is a Bollywood dancer. And I just love that. I, I just, it makes me so happy. So um, she's absolutely beautiful. She has bangles. She has henna or mindy on her hands. Please forgive me for pronouncing things wrong. My husband it drives me crazy, but I have a really hard time. We've been together for 10 years. I'm still learning. But anyway, um, but she looks stunning. I love her like this. I think it's supposed to resemble like a sari. I think it is so pretty and she has little orange sandals down here. I think I just I'm so excited and happy that they came out with this doll. I do wish she had a bendy or maybe like a tika in her hair. Um, a little bit of something something but um, otherwise I think she is absolutely stunning and I'm really really happy with her I really hope that they continue to have more Asian representation in their line um, they came out with a number of um, dolls last year one last year that Eleanor got and another one this year that is more kind of like a kawaii style um, like k-pop she's so cute um, doll that Ollie's asking for for Christmas as well and so I just want to see that grow even more Indian representation maybe a boy doll I don't know I just I'm excited and I really hope it goes farther um and just just this makes me so happy so she's stunning next um I found this this is called an Ava star um doll and they have a bunch of different ones but i got the kawaii pie style if you couldn't guess um but they do have a bunch of different ones back here um and basically it it's like a giant like lego person um it's like just like a big plastic kind of blocky looking person if you know anything about roblox if you have little ones who are into roblox um it looks like a roblox avatar which is why i got it basically it's a fashion doll so it comes with a bunch of different like plastic accessories that you can change uh your hair your clothes all that stuff and then reusable stickers so you can change the faces you could add patterns onto the clothes and really like make it your own my girls love roblox and one of their very favorite things is designing their avatar they have been getting earning robux um through chores and just you know just being awesome kids and they love to spend it on their avatars and get new clothes and outfits and faces and all that type of stuff so i thought this was so fun because it's like a little avatar that she can design in real life um and it also comes with a game which looks very similar to roblox um and you know whether she plays with it as like a doll or not or she uses it as a decor item which was another thing that was supposed to go on her shelf um I just think it's just a really cool idea and I haven't really seen anything like it before. Like I said, they do have a bunch of other different ones, but I got her Kawaii Pie because of her obsession with Kawaii. I really like Hype Girl and Dreamer 3.0 and I love that the names are like, they're like, you know, they're screen names. Um, I just think that that is so cute. 
um, but I think that these two would be awesome for my youngest. And so if she's into this, if she ends up liking it, um, when Ollie gets it for her birthday, I may end up getting it for her for Christmas as well. I got this on Amazon during Prime Day for a really good deal. Um, and yeah, I just think these are really cool. And it's like a fun, like new toy that doesn't feel too babyish. Um, and it's just like fun to design. I don't know what the age group of oh, six and up. So it's perfect age kind of range as they get a little bit older. So yeah, I really like this. Like I said in the beginning, Ollie's obsessed with all things Sanrio, all the Sanrio characters, specifically my Melody. And when I saw this, I just knew she had to have this. This was the Purse Pets from Spin Master, which are basically interactive purses. They blink and make noises and talk and all that type of stuff. Um, and you can interact with them by like pressing their nose and you know doing certain things um, on the purse. But it's also a purse, so they teamed up with the Hello Kitty franchise, the Sanrio franchise, um, and they have three different designs. They have a Hello Kitty, um, a My Melody, and a Choco Cat, um, but she is obsessed with My Melody. So I thought this was perfect and it was so cute. I feel like it's like still fun and cute and young, but like as she gets older and it's like into purses and fashion and all that type of stuff. So really adorable. Um, you can get these in stores. The ones I've only seen in stores so far has been, um, Hello Kitty um, and it is like out like the purse is out and connected to cardboard it's not in this like little box like this but this is perfect for wrapping it's really good for wrapping um, but I wish I could kind of like take it out and show you but I don't want to open it um, actually I'm gonna I'm gonna do that I'm gonna show it to you because I just I think it's really cute and you can't get the full effect with it in the box okay so this is what it looks like um, and it's there's a button here. She doesn't, I don't think has batteries or it's not like the little plug's not taken out yet. But you press the nose and you can interact with it. And it has a strap that can be adjusted. Um, and then inside of it is some purse space. Now, there is quite a large like plastic where, you know, where the actual like motor function is. Um, but there's still some good room in there. Enough for a little kid. You know, she's not carrying around so, a lot of crazy stuff. But I just think it's so cute. And I think she's really going to like it. Um, like I said, she's wanting all things My Melody. So really happy with it. And um, they have all a bunch of different types of purse pets. So if the Sanrio characters are not your thing um, or your little one's thing or whatnot, then definitely still check them out because I think they're really cute and they're fun little, kind of a cool functional toy, I guess I would say. I can't now close the box, but that's that. This is actually gonna be for my brother. Next, we're moving on to kind of like clothes and fashion. She's eight. That is a big thing she's now super interested in. So I'm gonna share a, thing, a couple things with you quickly. I know some of you guys may not be interested in clothes, um, but I've got some really awesome deals and I just have to share with them. Uh, first things first, my mom picked up this really cute little beanie and mitten set from the children's place. Like I said, Olive is obsessed with cats. It's really, really fuzzy, some gold, glitter sparkles all over it um, and then there's this really adorable pair of matching mittens that are super soft um, just adorable and cute and perfect for Ollie let me just quickly say though that like I said this is from the children's place and this was originally $42.95 now I feel like with the children's place most stuff is never full price like you never pay full price unless it just like dropped right then um, and what have you but I don't know who was going to be paying $42.95 for these. That's just insane to me. I mean, they're a nice quality, don't get me wrong, but $42.95, that's insane. Anyway, my mom got like a great deal on it. I think it ended up being like 10 bucks or something like that. So awesome, but just $42.95, that's insane. Um, along the same lines, I got this little... Uh, what a, what a little handkerchief, little scarf, little headband, little thing um, from Old Navy. I got this during their like big sale. They had everything like 50, 60% off. I think it was like a dollar. Um, and it's really, really cute. Just really pretty floral design. She's super into like the soft girl kawaii style um, and just lots of like pastels and florals and like she's like now learning about cottage court. She's learning about all of these trends that I'm like, this feels so weird because you're becoming like a kid, like you're you're learning about all of these cool things and I just, it feels weird when you're like, I like this, it's so cottage core. I'm like, where'd you hear cottage core? Anyway, so she said that 
she wants cottage core things so i found this and i thought this was really perfect do you guys remember when these were super popular if you're millennial like me like these were the i had one that was purple with like tiny little like ditzy floral pattern on it i wore it all the time I, it was my favorite thing like these this was like what, what was so cool it's crazy to see all of that stuff come back but anyway i hope she likes it i think it's adorable she has plenty of stuff to match it but that little one that's a perfect stocking stuffer okay next thing target was having a massive clearance so i got her a number of little shirts um like i said most of these are like cottage core like soft floral pastels um, but I got each of these like camis. These were, this was $4 when I bought it originally, but I bought one today for $2. So, um, this is just a really pretty like periwinkle blue, this lace detail, um, just for school, obviously she can't wear a little cami, so she'll, but she wear, she layers all the time. She'll probably just pop this over this like a little white t-shirt um, and wear it or she'll wear a cardigan over it. She's really into cardigans now. Anyway, so I just thought this was really, really cute and really pretty. And like I said, I got another one um, and this one was $2.40. Now I sized up with this one. This one is a 7.8 and this one is a, oh no, they're both 7.8. Never mind. I lied uh, but they're from art class and um, just so cute like this one's so cute too so I just got these little tank tops for her um, can't beat that price and then I also got this little cami as well another thing from art class this was 560 now I have um, purchased one for our for her before that was like this and it has a big butterfly on it she got it in the summertime and she looks so cute in it um so i when i saw the little flower one i thought it was perfect again something she would wear with a cardigan or a little shirt underneath it but just a really cute little cami and then um i found this button down little ribbed like ditzy floral pattern this was on the on sale for seven dollars um and just really cute little faux but is it real buttons i can't tell yeah it's actual buttons little shirt i just thought this was really cute totally kind of make that work you know i don't know then i found this from art class and it is a again that really pretty periwinkle like pastel color but then it's like ruched at the bottom she's been looking at these and really liking them and this was on sale for five dollars as well so definitely check out your local target they're having awesome clearance sales i know that for some of us we're like okay you're wearing like a cami you're buying camis um, it's about to be winter time, but this is stuff that I know that she can wear now when she layers, but also we live in Texas, so it's warm a lot, so she can make that work and things that I know she'll really like. Lastly, I found this. Um, now, this was only on clearance because it was supposed to, be, it's an online only item. Um, and so it's originally $20, but I got it for $14, and it's this really pretty sage green cardigan now she has one of these exact cardigans already that is a um cream colored it's actually medium it's huge on her it's giant she loves it because it's oversized but it's huge um but she's really into cardigans right now and i thought this would be cute even though it's a four or five um it's still it will still fit her but it would be more like cropped and i just thought that would be kind of cute and different so um i got her this one like i said they are twenty dollars i think they're still twenty dollars but since it was probably returned um but it was in great yeah i don't care it's in great condition so there's nothing wrong with it so um i got it for 14th so i just think it was really pretty and i know that she'll be really happy with it so um and she can pretty much wear it with like literally every item that i got her okay i also got her a number of other clothing items i can't decide what i'm going to give to her for christmas or what i'm going to get what i'm going to give to her for her birthday i may you know like separate things i bought her a bunch of other stuff but it hasn't come in yet so i will do like b-roll so you can see all the different pieces that i got her um and they're really really cute they're things that she's picked out again i think i got her two other cardigans because she's on the cardigan train i got her a little white tennis skirt that's pleated um and then i think a hello kitty top and I think that's it, maybe another top too, but kind of along all the same lines. Um, and so 
but it hasn't come in yet. It's supposed to come in by her birthday. I hope that it does so I can give it to her because those were actually intended for her birthday, but we'll make it work if I have to save some for Christmas because I didn't expect to find all these cute things. Um, the last item of clothing are these pack of socks my mom got for her. Um, again, she loves cats. So my mom saw these and just had to have them for her. So they're really, really soft little sockies that have grippies on the bottom, but they look like cat paws. So they were little cat toes and everything. Um, and they're just so cute. And there's all different colors. It comes with like pair, like I think six or something. Um, and there's some, you know, like calico or some like tabby cats stripes. Um, so I think she's, here's the other set. So really, really cute, cozy. They, they constantly need socks. So it's perfect for them, perfect for the winter. I want some for myself, but I can't fit them. But they're really cute and um, I think she's gonna like them too. All right, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you will know that Ollie, like I said before, is really, really into art. She loves to draw, she loves to create. Um, and so kind of, again, sticking with the theme, I wanted to get her I normally get her a new sketchbook pretty much every gift giving holiday because she uses the heck out of them. So I found this sketchbook from Walmart. It's from the Pin and Gear line. And this, I it, it was absolutely under $5. I just can't remember if it was under $4 or under $5. Um, but it's a really, really nice, like heavy sketchbook. A really nice cover, nice and thick, and then really nice pages. I thought this is such a good deal for um, that price. I feel like it's such a good gift for those of you who know, like maybe you have a kid in your life who really enjoys drawing, but it's like grown out of, you know, coloring books and doesn't like coloring and stuff, but really likes to draw and sketch by themselves. But maybe it's a little bit older and you want something that's a little bit more, you know, grown up looking. I think this is so pretty. So I got her that, and then I also got her her own set of drawing pencils. So she has a bunch of colored pencils and she of course can use like regular number two pencils. But because she's really interested in anime and trying to learn to draw anime style, um, I thought having her own sketching pencils and drawing pencils would be really good. It comes with a um, number of different pencils as well as an eraser. I really wish it came with the little like blender, little like styptic pencil, you know what I'm saying? The little blender, but it didn't. But that's okay, I can buy that separately um, or she can use her finger. But I thought that this was just like a nice gift together and a good idea for, you know, those of you who have kids or, you know, going to a birthday party or something and you know, like the kid really likes art and drawing. It's just like a nice gift. I also got her and it hasn't come in yet from Amazon. I'm gonna put a picture up. It's gonna go along with this gift as well. And it is an anime like drawing guide um, book. She really, like I said, has been really into anime. <coughs> Excuse me. She's been, <coughs> Excuse me. She has been really into the anime drawing style um, and loves graphic novels. Those are her favorite to read. And so she's been creating comics and graphic novels. And um, she just wants to develop her artistic abilities more um, and really get down the true like anime character and so she also really wants to learn how to draw hands and uh, really develop the facial expressions and stuff like that so I thought it was a really good book hopefully it had good reviews but some of them are so hit and miss so I don't really know but I will hopefully that will be in before her birthday but that's like the full gift together so again if you know like a kid in your life who likes some anime or you know they have like kawaii drawing books or just how to draw for kids like they have so many different things i feel like with a sketchbook and some pencils such a good gift idea on our last two official gifts um this next gift is actually a set that i got from amazon um along the same lines of the santa rio characters she also really loved cinnamon roll and so they had this full like little gift set that came with a bunch of different items and I just thought it was so cute. So it came with a bunch of different stickers, which she is super into stickers. And I also ordered a whole set of um, like anime style and kawaii style stickers. Um, and they haven't also come in yet. They're supposed to come in with the clothes. So I will have, a, you know, like I said, the B-roll of that, but I bought a bunch of different sticker, stickers for really inexpensive. They're really, really beautiful. And I think she's really going to like them. So I'm going to give them also together with these little cinnamon roll ones. She's been asking for some stickers. So I think that it's going to go well. Um, and I also got her a little gummy bear 
it's I think they're highlighters but it was just so cute and they like stack on one another and they're like pastel markers I think they're highlighters but I just thought I could it just she had to have it it was so cute so um, I got her that as well to go along with the sketching set now for accessories the rest of these things are accessories this little set came with this really nice it's actually really heavy um, little it feels like glass beads but they're definitely not they're plastic but it's like really heavy um, little cinnamon roll um, bracelet set can you see that is it gonna focus on my hands I don't know are we focusing um, but just this really cute little bracelet set and then it came with this little pouch which is perfect for her to take to school. Um, I'm also looking to get her some chapstick because her lips get so chapped this time of year. Um, and so she can just take this to school filled with some chapstick and like maybe some stickers or pens or whatever she wants to bring with it. But it just says, long-eared wonder pup, little cinnamon roll. And then um, it also came with a necklace, Let's open it. I, the chain needs to be changed because the chain is really long and it's silver and the necklaces are there's two necklaces they're like gold um, so it needs different change chains but this little cinnamon roll charm necklace and then this cinnamon roll charm necklace just really cute are we focusing are we focusing I can't tell Anyway, just really cute little necklaces. And then um, it came with this keychain, which was also adorable. Um, I'm sure you were like, I hate the crinkle sounds. We're not doing ASMR over here. Okay. Sorry about that. Then we have this really cute little keychain that she can put on her backpack and little cinnamon roll, little charms. Just so cute. He makes me so happy. I don't know if it's a girl or boy. I don't know, but it's cute. And then I'm gonna assume boy, girl. But you know what? I don't know, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put him. You know, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna assume his gender and say what he is or she is, what they are. But it has it also came with these little set of ears. These are so nice. They're so soft. I was when I saw this set, I thought it was so cute. The reviews were really, really good. I was like I don't know but I decided to take my chance they do also had in my they also had a my melody one but it just wasn't as cute as the cinnamon roll one and since she also got a lot of other my melody stuff I thought this was like a good one because she also really likes cinnamon roll but how cute she ha she got a hat from a kawaii store um, a couple months ago and it's one of those like long hats with the like long like little arm things and you can press the sides and the ears flop and it's a my melody one and she loves it and so i thought this is like perfect to go along with it it's so cute it's so cute so i think that she's really gonna like this i'm excited to give it to her so that is that and then last but not least this is kind of like her bigger gift um but it still was pretty inexpensive and that is this big set of the sanrio hello kitty and friends characters so we have karopi right here again i'm probably saying names wrong don't don't you know please forgive me Kuropi, Kuromi, hello kitty my melody and pom pom Purin. and this is these literally these little suckers are like eight inches they're big boys and um this was like 29 dollars 28 dollars on walmart like completely five star reviews I don't know if you guys know, like if you guys have kids who are super into the Hello Kitty franchise um, and they want like the stuffies, these things are crazy expensive, like so expensive. And um, the fact that they came out with this gift set is perfect. So she gets all of her faves all in a little set, minus cinnamon roll, um, all in a little set together and they're so cute. So just to kind of start off her collection, she loves stuffed animals. So I thought this will be perfect and she'll be so excited. So this is like the last gift that she's going to open because I think she's going to be the most excited for this one. Um, I don't think she knows that this exists. So I'm very excited to give it to her. Like I said, this is an awesome deal. A really, really good Christmas gift. Really nicely priced. Under $30. And you get all of these suckers. These little friends. And look how big they are. They're big boys. They look nice. I'm so excited. That was such a good buy. Um, and then... 
that is it for her birthday gifts. But I did want to share a couple of other things with you because I they kind of go hand in hand with her birthday. She is having her first official like big kid birthday party. We haven't had a birthday party with friends for the past number of years because of the pandemic and for just safety reasons um, and social distancing. But this year we are going to have an actual birthday party for her. It was actually already supposed to happen, but we all got the flu. Which is kind of ironic but it and we were miserable so we actually decided to wait to rehab it after the holidays because of all everyone's hate crazy hectic schedule and again just to try to limit exposure um to any sort of yuck covid flu rsv is really bad right now all all of that and not spread anything as well so hopefully after the holidays and everything's kind of died down a little bit again it'll be better that's her hope so she is having her birthday party um so that's kind of another kind of bigger investment but um since we couldn't do it as originally planned i kind of still want to make things special for her obviously um and so for tomorrow is her actual birthday she loves her elf on the shelf um she still is a very very big believer and just cannot wait for them to come back she has been just like pleading every morning like please come back and so excited for them so um normally for the past number of years for her birthday her uh, elf who's named glitter um comes and does something fun either helps decorate her room for christmas or brings a little treat or something like that for her birthday and so this year is no different and i know she'll be really excited um but i found I feel like I'm missing one maybe I'm not I found holiday elf costumes at Target dollar spot now if you know anything about the actual elf on the shelf brand which is this little guy it's buying these actual things are so expensive buying their outfits like they're like Barbie outfits and they cost like $15 for a little dress it's insane um, so the fact that they brought these out um, is so exciting and they were only a dollar so I got these three I could have sworn I got another one but now I can't find it so I don't know maybe I didn't um, but I got this one which is what I'm actually going to use for her birthday party tomorrow glitter is going to be um, sitting at the table with her cupcake on as well as brought her some donuts for breakfast on her year special plate and a little balloon and saying yippee it's your birthday um, so I feel like that's perfect and I wanted to share these because of course it's the holidays are coming and you won't see my gift guide till after the the friends have come back to visit so just to give some ideas I also got a pizza which would be so fun for like pizza night when they wake up when I'm like tonight's pizza night and they're wearing the pizza um, and then the elves are super mischievous and like to get into trouble so I love that they have this candy cane lockup in case they do something naughty and they need to you know have a little time out a little sit so they can think about their actions so um i just thought this was really cute as well and i could have sworn there was a fourth one but i don't know anyway i also go oh there yes hot cocoa um so cute for a hot cocoa night you know just have like buy a box of hot chocolate a new or you know make it what have you and have them wearing their little hot cocoa costume i just think these are so cute so definitely recommend checking your local target out i also picked up these um, which are these like holiday games um, and they're little felt games. They were a dollar each, but I thought these were a really awesome idea again um, for the elves so they could wake up one morning and find the elves were playing some games and then they can play them later. Um, and these are so small and like perfectly compact that they'd just be so easy to repack up in our um, Christmas decorations. So we have this really cute tic-tac-toe one and then it comes with the little felt uh different colored snowflakes to mark your spot and this one's like little shoots and ladders it comes with a little die and then little snowman uh markers and you go down the candy cane up the tree that whole thing i just thought these were really cute and just really fun and don't take up a lot of space and so you can just pop them in your christmas decorations afterwards so awesome way to go target that made me so excited um this is the last item this is actually something my brother got from the thrift store because like i said these things are so expensive um and 
it has all of the items inside of it. So um, if you find kits like this, they have a bunch of different things you can use. So I don't think this one's ever been used before. Um, so what, a, yeah, it's never been opened. So awesome deal. Um, but it comes with like little ice skates, um, a chair, um, like uh, yarn, like little um, signs that they hold. Uh, they have Christmas climbing boots that like suction onto windows and stuff that they can use, little suction uh, grips. They have harnesses, holiday hooks, all of these fun things that you can do um, with your elves to kind of come up with some ideas because coming up with like a full month of ideas is exhausting. And now that my kids are older, we can't repeat things as easily. So all I'm saying, apparently it also has a like guidebook too. So I don't know if you can find this online and if you want to uh, pay the full price, but awesome thrift store find. So thank you to my brother for that one. Okay, that is it. I just wanted to share all of those things with you just in case that you are on the lookout because some of them are part of her birthday, but also just to, you know, Christmas is coming and the elves will return. For those of you who, um, have them come you know bunk with you for a month anyway okay that is it thank you guys so much for watching this video was a long one i had to get back in the swing of things but welcome to the start of the holiday gift guides thank you so much for being here like i said if you are interested in seeing kind of my wish list um or a couple of other kind of miscellaneous gift guides i always do what i got my kids for christmas what i got my husband what i got my husband uh in his stocking and what i got my kids in their stocking but if you're interested in my wish list or um maybe some other gift ideas that necessarily aren't like for you know your husband or the man in your life maybe for your friends or yourself or what have you um, let me know if that's something you're interested in because I can do that um, and I also will be doing what I got myself not well not what I got myself what I got for Christmas at the end of the year as well because I know a lot of you really like that and I didn't end up doing it last year because we all got COVID which was miserable so Fingers crossed we have a healthy, safe, and happy Christmas and I and holiday season. And I pray that for you as well, whether you celebrate Christmas or not. I just hope that you have a healthy and happy, um, safe holiday season and winter season. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I gave you some good ideas. Like I said, always I will have everything linked down below for you guys so you can shop the links easiest for you. Um, and that's it. I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.